uh, in Las Vegas, and it's promoting confidence and expression for both kids and adults. Sign me up. Here to talk more about it is the founder, Darrell Davis. So good to have you with us today on Midday. Glad to be here. Thank you. So tell me, this is called the Truth Collective. Yes. Um, tell me all the details. Where'd you come up with this idea? Um, well, my name, my stage name is Real The Truth. I'm a poet and a rap artist here in the city, and I have a platform um, and business called The Truth Spot and Truth Collective. Um, so it just gives a platform to the youth and to uh, my peers um, an opportunity to share their truth and that's through, through art and poetry. I love that. And, and I was doing a little reading about this and, and you guys are really going for the slam poetry route, right? Oh, yes. A, a full performance and everything. So uh, for people who may not have any experience, what would you tell them about coming out to, uh, to try a little slam poetry? Well, um, there's nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> um, you know, I, I come across people all the time that say that they write poetry, they have poems, but they're, they're scared to share it. And um, I just say, you know, do it. For a long time, all I did was write and I didn't share it. But, you know, once I found out that I can share it and, you know, win cash prizes and travel and, you know, participate in these competitions all across the United States, you know, something that I, I felt like needed to you know, be expressed. And now you're trying to open up that door for other kids here in the Las exactly. Vegas community. That's so cool. Um, I want to ask you, why poetry? I mean, you said you have experience uh, a little bit in the rap game and also writing some poetry yourself. Yes, why do you think that that is such a good way for kids to it kind of express themselves? Well, poetry um, for me growing up was, has been my outlet. You know, I use it as, um, you know, my form of journaling. And, uh, you know, it was... Um, you know, it provided, you know, something for me that nothing else, you know, no conversation with anyone did, you know, allowed me to get something off my chest and to know that other people relate to it and I'm not alone, um, you know, it's something that I, you know, I, I am very passionate about. So I, I just, you for know, sure. want kids to know that they can um, use poetry as that means to express themselves if they feel like they don't have anybody else to talk to or, um, you know, share what they've gone through with. I love that. It could be the avenue that, you know, kids maybe didn't even realize that they had, which can be so huge for them. Um, exactly. My last question really is, uh, can you give us the details about this? When are you guys going to meet? When are you uh, telling kids to come out and, and hang out with yes, you? Yes, definitely. Um, so every Wednesday, actually, by way of STARS, it's a nonprofit organization that I'm a part of. It, um, you know, we have an after school program at Democracy Prep at Agassiz Campus. It's every Wednesday at four. Um, and then every first Friday at Equipo Academy as well on the east side. Um, the adult program is currently at UNLV, so January 26th will be the next um, open mic poetry slam um, for our community. I love it. And I keep saying kids, but you, you're really encouraging adults to come out and yes, try sir. it too, right? Yes, sir. Um, adults and youth just promoting a, a positive platform, you know, trying to get the city and the community behind me and let them know that, you know, we're, we're just trying to provide something positive uh, for the community. Absolutely. Hey, best of luck. Thanks so much for coming by. I'm really looking forward to, to hearing Appreciate more about it. this in the future. Thank you for having me. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.